Hello YouTube. This is my replication of the Tang C. Heinz uh, Regenerative Acceleration uh, Generator Experiment. Uh, with this experiment I am getting the same results. Uh, and in this experiment uh, you uh, will be able to see that it is possible to speed up a generator under load. So let me walk you through the system. Uh, here is my incoming grid which goes to my watt meter over here uh, and from my watt meter it goes to my frequency drive controller my frequency drive controller is connected to my normal induction motor which is rated at 1500 rpm uh, at 50 hertz and with this frequency drive controller I am able to let it run at 3000 rpm so uh, at 50 hertz it will give me 1500 rpm and at 100 hertz it will give me 3000 rpm which is important for this type of experiment uh, further we have uh, here at my rotor, my generator rotor with 12 magnets, neodymium magnets connected to it north south north south facing outward outwards and here you see my high impedance generator coil uh, and my very high impedance generator coil which is also important uh, here are the specs 2.182 henrys and 384 ohms so to my generator coil I have connected those two wires which go to my multimeter which show the hertzes which are coming out of the generator and in parallel I am able to connect this light bulb which is an LED light bulb so, so I can connect it and which is rated at 1 to 2 watts uh, so for now that is the system as a whole let me place my camera over here so that I can start it up uh, yeah, everything is on it all the wires are on it Okay. for now what I will do is first I will start my motor to 50 Hz there we go and when it's up to speed You can see that uh, now my generator is almost generating 150 Hz, uh, almost, so 148.8 Hz. And when I try to load uh, my generator for now, the wattage will increase. So now it takes almost 58 watts, 57.9. And when I remove my load, you can see that the system drops back and goes to 46.4 watts this is the wattage which is needed to supply my frequency drive controller and to let my system run idle so one more time 57, 57.6 watts with load connected 47, 46.2 watts watch with the load disconnected so when it's running idle so this is normal generator action and now comes the magic one moment what I now will do is I will crank up my motor speed to 100 Hz so now this motor almost runs at 3000 rpm which gives me almost 300 Hz out of my generator coil I have to hold this because it tries to move away and now comes the interesting part uh, at idle you can see that it needs 76.3 watts and when I connect the load to it you can see that it drops to 73.8 watts 74. and when I remo remove the load it climbs back to 75.8 watts so with the load connected it will take you less energy to supply this this light bulb. This is the interesting aspect. So Tan Si Heinz was right, is right, and this is a, a very important uh, aspect. So let me stop the motor for now. Uh, there are only two uh, 
parameters which are very important that's the high frequency uh, to the generator coil so uh, in this case you will get it uh, to uh, connect more uh, magnets on the same rotor uh, that will uh, speed up your uh, that will crank up your frequency and the very high impedance coil oh uh, one more thing what's also important to mention is uh, let me speed it up again goes to 100 Hertz so now it's back up to speed when we connect the load we see the same effect 75 watts 74.7 0 0.6 0 0.5 when we disconnect it you see that it increase load connected the power will drop and load disconnected the power will increase what I also want to show is when I try to introduce drag by hand then you see that, uh, that there is more power needed so for now you see when I put my finger on it that it almost needs oh, it's coming to get hot <laughs> it almost needs 140 watts so those are real watts that's important to mention uh, and the second value is volt amperes the first value at the top is watts and the third value is the cosinus phi so one more time when drag is introduced it will take you more watt, wattage and now let it drop back to idle now it takes 74.3 watts connect the load again and you will see that it slightly increases to 72 watts 74 back disconnected load connected 72 watts and you can also see that the frequency is uh, a little bit higher uh, 0.9 and when the load is disconnected it is 0.7 so it's very interesting let me stop it for now and the only thing what I also wanted to show you is this uh, this is the schematic so that you have all the parameters normal induction motor, frequency drive controller rotor with 12 magnets on it, high impedance coil and the load connected to it this is my setup okay that was it, thanks for watching